Crematorium. What is it called? Where the cream is made? Of course no. In the simplest terms, the crematorium is the name given to the building with an oven where corpses are burned. They were born for this purpose. However, there are also different rooms inside the modern crematoriums. I saw this term in our forensic science class. And do you know that in this place where the temperature reaches 1200 degrees Celsius, one of our body materials or organs isn't destroyed? Which one? You keep thinking about this question and let's find out what it is at the end of the video. We told you that there are different rooms. In many countries, it also includes facilities reserved for the performance of funeral rites, such as chapels. In addition, the structure of the crematorium may vary according to the funeral traditions of the country. For example, the crematoria in the United Kingdom are designed with a separation between the funeral and cremation facilities, as it is not customary for mourners to the witness the coffin being placed in the cremator to provide a substitute for the traditional ritual of seeing the coffin descend into a grave. They each incorporated a mechanism for removing the coffin from sight. On the other hand, in Japan, mourners will watch the coffin enter the cremator, then will return after the cremation for the custom of picking the bones from the ashes. The cremation process takes place as follows. When the person dies, the body is waited for 48 hours before being cremated so that legal permissions can be obtained. At the same time, the identity and DNA samples of the corpse are also recorded. According to his will, organs that can be taken from a cadaver are taken for transplantation. For cremation, the corpse is cleansed of all artificial prosthesis and metal devices in his body. After this process, it is placed in a metal box or in a coffin suitable for the crematorium oven with the permission of the family and in the presence of three witnesses. To operate the cremation furnace, the temperature must first rise to 872 degrees and then to 1092 degrees Celsius. The corpse is put in the oven and the cremation process takes about 18 and 112 minutes. As a result of the procedure, the corpse doesn't turn into ash. Bore fracture vagans approximately 2.5 and 3 kilograms are left behind. After the parts are passed through a mechanical grinder, they turn into powder and are taken into a container. Relatives can watch this process. Here are the locations and opening years of the crematoriums in different countries. Italy, United States, Germany, United Kingdom, Sweden, Switzerland, France, Poland. So do you remember the question I asked? I asked which of our organs is not lost in the crematorium. The answer is teeth. Yes, our teeth can even withstand temperatures reaching approximately 1200 degrees Celsius. This may actually be a sign for us. Why not use the durability of teeth to our advantage?